Good morning, everyone. My name is Madeline, and I'm here with Margaret Jacinta, who's going to tell us a whole lot of stuff about what we're doing. First, we're going to do the breakfast. Now, I know that everybody's in a rush in the morning, so what we want to do is get the protein that we need for breakfast. Isn't that right, Margaret? Absolutely. It'll keep yeah. you going all day. That's it. So we've got our little blender. Well, it's a, actually, it's a very large blender, but any blender will do. And how we're going to do it is very simple. We've got the Syndrome X powder, which is fantastic. The Syndrome X powder is fantastic. It's a great protein powder. And what you'll find is, well, I've looked on the labels of a lot of protein powders, and they do have some unnatural, naughty things in them. Absolutely, like sugar or artificial sweeteners. Right. Whereas this one is entirely natural, just yeah. made of whey, uh, sweetened with stevia. Right. So it's really filling, yeah. um, virtually no fat or carbohydrate in there. So you can feel happy eating it. And this one, Margaret, the nature sweet. Yeah, as a natural sweetener, you can either use plain stevia or you can use nature sweet, which is a combination of several natural sweeteners which are stevia and inulin that comes from chicory and erythritol and maltitol, all coming from plants. And you really see, she's an oracle. <laughs> and stevia sometimes is a little strong for some people. So this one being mixed, now I'm, I must admit that stevia is not too bad in the cooking. But this one is... Um, it's much milder and, and much more like sugar itself than stevia. stevia. This yeah. one is more, yeah. more mild. So yeah. like if you're making a... A, a salad dressing, which we will be doing later. Um, this is a lot less overpowering in the dressing than the stevia. So that's just to let you know about the product. And delish. And we're going to have frozen berries. So we're starting off with a smoothie. Yeah, it's a smoothie. And it really fills you up because that's what I have every morning for breakfast. So I've chosen blueberries and raspberries because they're my faves. But, you know, what... What uh, nutritional value does uh, a blueberry have? It's yeah, oh, berries are one of the lowest sugar fruits. So they're really good yeah. for people who want to lose weight. Yeah. They're high in fibre, they're really filling, and they're full of antioxidants. The, the brighter the colours, the, the better they are. That's what I thought. So we're going to just we put our banana in, and that keeps you going too. What about the banana, Margaret? I well, know it's got a little bit of carb, hasn't yes, it? Yes, but it makes a thicker, more delicious smoothie, that's so that's it. why we like it. And we want to get, we want to really actually feel like we've had a good brekkie before we hit the road. So... But that's why it's important to use the protein powder. We don't just want fruit only, because that won't give me a hard time. keep you full for long. No, that's right. And this is a delicious, it's almost like a big treat. Yes. I always think it's like a big treat, like having a milkshake, but a healthy one. So what we've got the berries in now. Now you tell us about the milk, Margaret, and put it into the... Yes, yeah, so we're going to use diluted coconut milk. And make sure you find a brand of coconut milk where the only ingredient is coconut and water, because there are quite a few with a lot of additives in them. Sugar and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And, I, and Margaret told me that the best milk actually is almond milk, but... I didn't know that. I used to use rice milk, but you say the almond is much better. It doesn't have as much carb, right? And it doesn't have yep. uh, rice is a bit as high much sugar. Yeah, sugar, sugar. And so, so with the coconut milk, make sure you shake it a lot before you use it, because mm -hmm. if it's a cold day, most of the cream will have stayed at the top. So you want it evenly dispersed when you're using it. Yeah, because we want to get that cream. Yes, and if you're just making one smoothie for yourself, we generally say use about a quarter of a cup of coconut milk and the rest water. Okay, so, so let's do it, Dar. Let's get it on the yep. road. Mm -mm. Yeah, a lot it's of quite a bit cream. of cream there already. Yeah, we could spoon a bit of cream in if you think. No, it's got a lot on there. Mmm, delicious, the old coconut. <laughs> so I just want to get a bit of the cream in there because you'll yeah. get more flavour that way. Okay. And that's probably enough. Let me take it for you. Voila. And then what, the water? We go with the water. Now we're going to put a little more water because that's not really a full cup, is it, Dar? Okay. What do you think? That looks about right, doesn't it? Yep. And now yep. the protein powder. Mm-mm. 
And what's the make with the protein powder has stevia, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right. right. So it's made of whey, mm -hmm. which is really filling and high in protein. Put two in there and then two? A, a two little bit for wrong. Two and a bit. A little bit for later wrong. But it depends how hungry you are. You yeah. can really use as much yeah. of that protein powder as you like yeah. because there's virtually no fat or carbohydrate in there. So just protein to keep you full. Yeah. So use as much as you need to satisfy your appetite. And that's it. That's how easy it is. And we're going to gas it up. Now, some people like ice, but I like things, prefer things room temperature. Is there a health benefit in that or not? Yeah, unless it's a really hot day. Yeah. Um, uh, ice makes a thicker drink, so it's nice yeah. to drink, but it's healthier not to include it. Okay, let's have a look at this. Wow, that's lovely and thick. Look at that. And all the berries are nicely dispersed. Absolutely delicious. So you can have, and I do, I actually end up, with more over, as you can see, there's quite a bit there. So I always knock down a couple of glasses myself in the morning, and I find it's fantastic for about three hours. So you can use any combination of berries you like. I mean, you don't even have to have banana, do you? That's right. Oh, and I forgot, we, we've got our LSA, which we're going to use on another breakfast alternative. And what is the makeup in that? It's linseed, sunflower, sunflower seeds, and almonds. And almonds. Yeah, and you can okay, add LSA it. into your smoothies yeah. as well. And yeah. that again gives you a thicker, creamier drink, yeah. high in fibre, high in minerals, yeah. and a nice nutty taste. So there we have it, our wonderful shake. Just to give us a little info on the different milks, the best milks to use, Margaret's going to tell us. Yep. Uh, so coconut milk is really good for you for so many different reasons. It's good for your immune system, um, it's, it's good for fat burning, it's good for your thyroid gland. Make sure you choose a brand of coconut milk where the only ingredient is coconut and water because uh, many brands have a lot of additives in them which you want to avoid. Um, if not using coconut milk, another good option is almond milk when making smoothies. Which sounds pretty delicious.